Alright, today I want to be talking about the five main reasons that will cause you to drop your motorcycle. And I've been riding for around eight years and I've dropped my bike twice. Uh, and everyone says that it's inevitable for um, someone, a rider, to, to drop your bike. But I don't actually agree with that. Despite, like, already dropping my bike twice, um, I believe that the both cases were, like, completely avoidable. Like, if you're always staying on the ball and you're always, like, consistent and on top of it, uh, I believe you can go your whole riding career without dropping your bike. Like, don't let people tell you that you're going to be dropping your bike. Like, have it in your mind always that, you know, that you're not going to drop it. You're always going to be careful and... And you'll be surprised, like, how much that actually will do for you. Uh, so, welcome to my channel where we talk about bikes and Bible verses. Uh, as usual, we've got a Bible verse at the end. Please stick around for that. Uh, but the first reason that would cause someone to drop their motorbike is alcohol. I think this was a factor in the last drop uh, that I dropped my bike. And I usually have, like, this policy of zero alcohol uh, when riding. It's not only that it will cause you to drop your bike, but it could also cause you to crash as well. Um, you know, when you, you have alcohol in your system, even if it's a little bit, you know, with alcohol, your gross motor ability, muscle ability, is, you know, not really affected. But a bike weighs like two to four times more than a person, so your gross or sheer strength isn't really going to help you. Your bike demands that you pay attention to fine details right sounds feelings clicks reaction reaction time balance these are all the things that exactly all the senses that alcohol takes away from you and I, I'm not talking about like being over the limit I'm talking about like even one drink like even having a bit of alcohol in your system takes away uh, these fine senses in my case like I dropped it because of a false kickstand um, like I kicked the kickstand um, for one I didn't kick it properly uh, because it didn't go all the way down it just bounced back up but in hindsight I should have recognized like the sound as well because I heard that it bounced back up so I only had like one drink but I think this in combination of just tiredness maybe alcohol just kind of makes you a bit lazy as well um, you know, would I have noticed the sound if I hadn't had that one drink uh, and just done it again, or ch at least checked? You know, would I have, would I have reacted faster when I noticed that you know it's going beyond the point of no return before it drops? The second thing that will cause you to drop your motorcycle is depression or mood you know your mental state specifically like carelessness and lack of motivation um, and you know neglect of self-care and even for self-care for your belongings um, it's it's you know having this like depression is a really bad position to be around your motorcycle um, what's worse is the false notion that you know motorcycle riding is a cure for depression like I've, I've mentioned before that riding a motorcycle and depression is not a good combination um, don't use your motorcycle to cure depression find a proper cure you know find out what's causing you to feel depressed um, do other things like be active and, and, and go out more. But once, if your depression's under control, then you can go out um, into, you know, motorcycling. Um, maybe motorcycling can prevent you from having depression, but you don't want it to be like the thing that's going to try to cure your depression if you have it. Uh, in my case, I also dropped my bike because of this, you know, depression mood type thing. Um, you know, I was working on my bike during a time where a lot of things were going on um, in my life and I was just feeling a bit depressed and I had this, uh, you know, ne neglect and lack of self-care type behavior and uh, I was trying to put my bike on uh, the rear stand and I realized that halfway up the garage was in the way so instead of putting the bike back down and then, you know, opening the garage door I thought that I could hold the bike on the rear stand halfway dangling and also and with the other hand just try and open the garage uh, gravity one 
The third thing that will cause you to drop your motorcycle is like absent-mindedness and forgetfulness. People underestimate, you know, the 10 or 20 little things that you have to do when you're preparing to go for a ride, you know. You know, you're putting on all your gear, you know, your pants, jacket, boots, um, you know, keys, wallet, phone, earplugs, you know, helmet, chin strap, four gloves, because you can't put your chin strap on after you've put your gloves on. Then you've got your kill switch, kickstand, neutral, clutch, start. And don't forget the wheel lock, because you'll drop your bike if you try and take off with the wheel lock still on. It requires, like, riding requires a lot of mindfulness. You know, if you're frequently, like, absent-minded, um, I think maybe, or if you're going through, like, a phase of absent-mindedness, the best case is, you know, you might get a bit annoyed because you realize that, um, your kill switch was still off. Um, but in worst cases, like, you can forget your, um, chin strap, and, you know, you'd be riding around without your chin strap, which is, uh, pretty dangerous. I think riders overcome this by developing habits. So instead of just trying to mindfully remember everything, you've just got a habit of doing the same thing the same way every time. Um, and then you kind of get the feel that you're forgetting something if you ever do. If you are having like this season of absent-mindedness, I think it's okay to just take a little rest um, from riding your bike for a little while. The fourth reason that you will drop your motorcycle is if you own a 2008 Yamaha R1. If you do own this bike, you're probably going to drop it. Jokes aside, the reason why you'll drop your bike is because of a bad angle. These um, bikes have a really bad kickstand angle and this sort of thing can cause you to drop your bike. A lot of people complained about like the excessive lean angle uh, when the bike's on the kickstand and not just that like it's got a really scrawny you know toothpick like kickstand as well uh, the other reason that people drop their bikes is maybe because of too little lean angle and the bike's standing too much upright and it lends itself to tipping over in the opposite direction like you need to be mindful of like slope and camber off the ground when you're parking your bike um, the best way to position your bike on a slope is like along the slope and not across it and you need the front to be pointing upwards like if you place your bike across the slope then you'll either have too much lean angle or too little lean angle there are many cases where uh, in that situation um, even like a gust of wind could tip your bike over um, you know and don't forget like just to ha always have your bike in gear and with the steering locked preferably the fifth reason that you will drop your bike is a failure to think a step ahead. So it's easy to forget when you're on a motorcycle and we take this for granted in the car world is that there is no reverse gear. This isn't a big deal on flat ground, you know, you can just sort of stick your legs out and push. But sometimes you can find yourself in a situation where you're facing downwards with a dead end in front of you. These situations like can sneak up on you. Um, for example, you know, if you're doing something simple like just trying to set your bike up to top up air in your tires at the service station. I found myself once in this situation and I had to um, get off my bike and flip around to the front while still balancing the bike and holding the front brake and then pushing upwards um, until, you know, you're in a safe enough place uh, to get around to the kickstand and then you can relax, regroup and think of a different strategy. The simple solution to this is just think ahead. Take your time, relax, um, you know, do another lap around, you know, the gas station or something. Overall, uh, if you're new to riding and you're afraid that you're going to drop your bike, um, I think you could set up some practice situations, you know, tr try like handling your bike and, you know, plan like a maneuver you know, push it backwards from the handlebars and holding the brakes and just get a feel of how your bike um, maneuvers, um, you know, build your skills and confidence. Um, you can also focus on things like keeping the bike balanced and as, as upright as you can um, because the further the, the further you lean it, the harder it is, the heavier it's, it's going to get. If you do need to lean it though, uh, you probably lean it against your body weight so you got more support and always remember to have your brakes covered so the bible verse for today is from mark chapter 9 verse 23 and it's when jesus says that all things are possible for those who believe 
or otherwise with faith all things are possible and I think we need faith to survive this world um, this this world we need to believe in the impossible there's some situations in this world that happen that we need to believe in the impossible I've had a lot of situations where God has intervened God has done the impossible you know God is real faith is real but like it, it's not a pass to do whatever you want whenever you want and also don't forget faith works both ways there might be things that you you do or you want to do that are displeasing to God you need to have the faith to know that um, you know God is there and and the, and it's faith that will kind of stop you from acting in that way because you believe and you know that God is there and that's that that's you stopping yourself from doing something because of that um, is a sign of faith so it works both ways so anyway that's um, all I've got I hope these uh, tips were useful to you uh, if you like this video please hit the like button make a comment uh, if you like my content in general, please subscribe and take it easy and ride safe.